Hi, my name is Michael Redman. I'm the technical director at Nashville Children's Theater. Today we're working on the main set pieces for Sherlock Holmes, The Final Adventure, our first show of uh, NCT season this year. Our set designer, Scott Boyd, uh, has set Sherlock Holmes in uh, basically inside of a Victorian pocket watch. And so we have gears and cogs coming from the floor and the ceiling and the background. And so as you can see right behind us, uh, we have uh, one of the pieces in progress. Uh, this is a model piece um, uh, from Scott Boyd. So you see, uh, even though it is a cog, we've still got our bookshelves, we've got uh, a card catalog. Uh, and on the other side, what you actually see at the beginning of the show is just more of a, um, a plain cog exterior. And so that's what, uh, that's what it sees. And then it's sort of uh, revealed that there's, there's more to it. And actually, these pieces are used in many different ways throughout the show. Uh, we get a, uh, the model as well as some technical drawings from our designer. Um, I then take those, process those. Um, uh, the designer shows us like this what the outside should look like, but if you peek in, it doesn't show what the framing needs to be. This has a, a steel frame. So we take that, um, I then scan that, we plot the points, you know, plot every one of these geometric points on plywood, cut out the shapes. Um, for the steel, that lets us build what we call a jig, which holds all of the, the metal nice and firm for us to weld that together. Uh, we take all the welded piece, the, there's two pieces, uh, two frames, and then the, the platform at the bottom. Uh, we assemble all of that, uh, weld it together, uh, and then start applying these, the, the wood exteriors. One of the things that we're using for these, to build these sort of, uh, these really intricate uh, built-in shelves, uh, is called bendy plywood, uh, bendable luon. And uh, basically what it is, it's uh, just two layers of, of um, softer plywood um, attached cross grain to the little slip of like an adhesive paper and that lets us sort of crack and pop them into these different shapes. One of the bigger challenges for, uh, for Sherlock Holmes in this uh, has obviously been just these big guys. I mean there's this and it's, uh, there's a, uh, its partner, there's a, a second uh, unit. Um, forms a 20 foot wide half cog. Uh, one of the more complex, both just structurally how it's put together, how many ways we use it, uh, the mobility, it needs to be able to roll around on stage, it needs to be able to transform and pivot and dance and be ominous and huge and beautiful all at the same time, uh, and under budget and, and time and all those things. Uh, so it's been one of those uh, that making all those factors work together has been, it's been awesome. One thing I love about the, this design for Sherlock Holmes uh, is in, in using the elements of time and the clockwork uh, is that the story uh, of the final adventure is very much about the sort of crest uh, of Sherlock's career. And that, uh, and, and so you sort of get the impression that uh, the clock is ticking uh, for Sherlock. And this is a way that we can sort of personify that um, and really create this sort of, you don't really know what's gonna happen. He may survive, he, 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 but he may not. This may be the, the one time that Sherlock doesn't, uh, doesn't think his way, doesn't escape, doesn't, uh, doesn't succeed in the end. So it's a really exciting story and I, I, love, I love the setting of it. Um, uh, the way that Scott Boyd has done. Sherlock Holmes The Final Adventure is running between September 13th and October 7th. We have shows at 2 and 6.30 p.m. on Saturdays and on Sundays at 2 p.m. And if you think this is cool, wait till you see the finished product. So, Mike, what do you use the mustard for? Uh, <laughs> well, actually, um, it, not a lot of people know this, you actually can put scenery together, uh, glue pieces of wood together just by squirting mustard between the two. Uh, so pro tip. Hi, uh, my name is Michael Redman. I'm the technical director here at Nashville Children's Theater. <laughs> <sighs> this, is, this is such a good idea, right? Wasn't my idea. <laughs>